This episode of Worth a Shot is sponsored by Magic Bullet. Explore even more at themagicbullet.com. Welcome back to Worth a Shot! Season two, baby! We have something very special today. We are gonna be doing something a little bit different. Our drink today will be K-pop! And we have a very, very special guest with us. We'd like to welcome Steven Liv. Oh, I got some applause. Hey, oh, Ricky. God, hello. Hi, Hi, Mari. Hi. Oh, I love the energy. You guys are gonna be competing for the best K-pop drink. How are you feeling? Do you think you can do it? Who do you think is gonna win? Well, obviously, Ricky's gonna win. Oh. No, I'm yeah. actually very <laughs> That's excited. That's the confidence we know and love. <laughs> I actually have faith in your drink. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making today? So today I am inspired by the one and only Blackpink. Mm. I am using their femininity with an edge to inspire me to create a one-of-a-kind cocktail that is dangerous but sweet. Dangerous Ooh. because it tastes so good. Oh, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. I like that. Steven, what are you making for us today? My K-pop inspired drink is based around the GOATs, the legends, BTS. Woo! They are individualistic, they're creative, they're expressive, and so I will be making a drink around all of those qualities, but also with a little bit of color. Joyce will be here later and she'll be our official judge. Both of you will be using the magic bullet to make your drinks, but before we have to do the worth a shot tradition and Take a shot. Absolutely. Yeah, when did absolutely. that become a tradition? Bottoms up. Yay! Oh. Let's get started. Okay, so tell us what are you making for us today? So today I am doing a soju base sour by adding lemon, simple, and egg white. Soju is a Korean liquor. We're doing K-pop, so we obviously have to use soju. This is Yakult, a popular mixer with soju. They call it yogurt soju. They call this a probiotic yogurt drink. Yeah. And this is something I had a lot of as a kid because they were so good. I am also blending in our lovely magic bullet some raspberry puree, which I'm gonna puree with raspberry, sugar, and water. I am inspired by the color black pink, so I'm turning the drink black by adding some squid ink, which has a salty flavor to it. So I gotta be careful by not adding too much and I'm using a classic technique, dry shaking egg white to create a foam on top. I'm a little I've, suspicious about the egg. Like, have that's you had an egg weird... white drink before? No. You basically shake just the egg white without the yolk to emulsify the drink. You know the nitro cold brews yes. where it's like very sort of like I, silky and smooth? Yeah. That's a quality egg white gives to the sours. Okay, I trust you. I'm going to garnish a drink with a beautiful array of pink flowers. Aww. And then I'm gonna finish with a little mist of orange flower water so there's something delightful on the nose. I'm gonna step out, give you a little room, okay. and then I'll come and check on you. I'm excited and nervous. No, you're gonna excited. be amazing. No, 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 you're yes, gonna be amazing. Yes. No, seriously, you're gonna be amazing. Don't fuck it up. Famous last words, now I will. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to do is make our lovely raspberry puree in our magic bullet. This is the, the perfect size for a smoothie on the go, and in this case, for my raspberry puree. So we're going to measure out 100 grams of some lovely raspberries. We're going to add 50 grams of sugar, and we're going to top off with one and a half cup of water. So lastly, we're finally going to blend. It was supposed to be ounces, not cups. Oh my gosh. I gotta redo this from scratch, I think. I was like, why am I adding so much water? Am I fired? <laughs> I have the actual measurements now. Four ounces of water. Okay, we're gonna give this bad boy a whirl. You're doing some heavy duty stuff with some little duty lifting. When I grew up, our blender had like 15 buttons and I didn't know what the difference was. This is... Thank you. 
this is perfect. This smells great. This looks great. This is a raspberry puree. We're done with the episode. Thank you. We're going to squeeze some lemon juice. I always roll my citrus before squeezing it to yield more juice. Fresh juice is always better. Whenever I make cocktails, I always use fresh citrus. It's an easy way to make something taste legitimately good. Great, and then we'll set our lemon juice aside. The first thing when you make a sour is you want to add egg whites in, and you don't want to do this at the end because if you build everything in and the yolk falls in by accident, the whole drink is ruined. So I always start with the egg white first. You want to catch the yolk by making it go back and forth and getting all the white out. This is gonna be the emulsifying agent in this drink. Now we're ready to build everything else. So we are going to start with two ounces of soju, baby. We're gonna add 0.75 ounce of our lovely Yakult beverage. 0.75 lemon. Then we're adding half ounce each of our lovely raspberry puree and simple syrup. And we are ready to give this a dry shake. This is a technique that you'll see in a lot of bars that bartenders do. You're shaking the drink without ice, with egg white, so there's no noise. And the goal here is to get your drink very frothy. Oh, I forgot to add the, the squid ink. I gotta add the squid ink. That was a secret ingredient. It smells like ocean. It's very inky. I wanna try the tiniest bit. Oh! I'm still adding this because I'm crazy and we need the drink. Is there black on my teeth? I'm going to test out a little dollop, enough to get the drink to be this beautiful black complexion that I want without it being overly salty. So we're gonna give this another dry shake with the egg white. Um, now, finally, I'm gonna add ice. All right, now we're gonna give this a proper shake. Oh, Hello. oh. Are you ready? Look at these muscles. <laughs> I'm ready. I just have to pour this out and garnish a drink. Okay. Whoa, so that was we cool. want this beautiful, sort of like cloudy complexion up on top. This is the pink that I want to add on top to make it the black pink drink. That's a little baby Kinda like my wedding flowers a little bit. So this is orange blossom water that I am going to spray on the flowers just so it has not only a mist, but you get a floral note on the nose. This is so beautiful! <laughs> can I can try it? Can yes, share. you can try okay. it. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's way different than I thought it would taste oh, like. Oh, okay, okay. I really enjoy this. It's definitely funky. It's Maybe a it's a squid ink. It's a little funky. Like it's good, but it's funky. But I don't know, I, I think Joyce is the expert, so I'll leave that to her. I know what you're saying. Okay. Maybe it's not for everyone. The squid ink added that salt element. Maybe Joyce. It'll be, be for Joyce. That's what we we'll want. We'll see, we'll see. We're coming for you, Joycey. Congratulations. Thank you. This is beautiful. So next we have Steven coming on and he's gonna make his surprise concoction. Okay, tell me what you're making. So okay. my drink is inspired by my favorite K-pop band, BTS. Okay. They're very colorful, and they're always very vibrant with their personalities and their hair color and their outfits. It will make the drink change color as we Ooh, morph it. Ooh, I wanna see that, yes. okay. BTS has a song called Butterfly, and I wanted to take butterfly pea flowers and turn it into a part of the drink that could be very colorful and vibrant just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a butterfly pea flower ice. Oh! Crush it with that magic bullet, with my Bulletproof Boy Scouts, and then change and transform the color of it using lime juice, vodka, oh. and a little bit of ginger beer. Ooh! All right, well, I'm excited to see you get going. How are you feeling? You feeling confident? See, the thing is, like, Ricky, when he walks into a room, you're just like, wow, that's Ricky. I like, know. oh my god, he's I here. Know. And when I'm in a room, it's like, no, and Steven, so that's not true. And so today, I gotta change that up. You know, have the confidence 
of the boys I looked up to. You got it. Okay. It's gonna Thank be great. You. Okay. All right. Let's All get right. going. It's a bit of a simple drink, but I think it really possesses the presence and the power of BTS. We're going to pour a few of these lovely flowers into this mason jar and let it steep with hot water for about four to five minutes. How much do we need? You know, the question of how much to use is all in here. Just like my BTS boys, it's all about the heart. Ricky has no heart. I have a heart, so I'm gonna just by heart, measure this. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. One of the things that Ricky always teaches me when he teaches me how to make drinks is to measure. Isn't that beautiful? Cocktails are more about self-expression, about delivering your true self. Wow, that is getting dark. I think I added too many. Sometimes measure, sometimes don't. Just do it how you feel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distill this because it's too dark now. Self-expression. Sometimes it overflows from the heart. Making a mess in the kitchen, it's all part of the magic. Oh, sorry, okay, okay, it's okay. Okay, now that's the color I want. I should have measured. We're good here, let's move on. I'm going to transform this tea into an ice. And that ice is going to be a beautiful, vibrant blue color. This is going in the freezer, and we'll be back in a few hours. Voila! We have our beautiful blue eyes. Look at that. It's so pretty. You would see this in a BTS music video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush this ice. I'm imagining fire playing in the background as this crushes. Okay, that looks great. I think we're done here. The magic bullet was the perfect tool to turn my mess into this magic. We're going to take this crushed ice, put it in this mushroom cup, and then I'm going to transform the color of the ice using lime juice. I'm thinking a half ounce. Look at that, look at that. That's sick. Wow, it's so pretty. We're going to add some ginger beer and some vodka. Now, which one should go first? I think the vodka should go first. How much do I feel should belong in this drink? I can't get over how awesome that looks. And then finally, we'll top it off with our ginger beer. Wow. 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 Man, Ricky is screwed. I got these butterfly garnishes, they're edible. Wow. Wait, you have to see it in the front, because the- Steven! Yeah? Wow! Yeah, would you drink this? Yeah, absolutely. This is really cute. Thank Dug you. it! It Thank looks you. like a mushroom. Whoa. It's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. It's kind of like spicy. It has like almost like a kick. Mm -hmm. I like it. It yes. feels like fruity and fresh. It makes me feel like young and like I'm 21 and yeah. like on the town. I'm very impressed. Thank that you. was wonderful. I'm going to go grab Ricky and Joyce and we'll be right back. Woo. Okay. Let's do it. Time has come to bring our one and only judge, the beautiful, the talented, our K-pop connoisseur, Joyce. Ooh! Hi, everyone! Hey, welcome to Worth the Shot. K-pop is my favorite thing in the world, and alcohol is my true religion. Ooh, so, it is here. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna go get the drinks. Okay. Here I come. Wow! Those wow. Are what? <laughs> I can't this say what is you the bougiest. Like, this makes me feel like I'm like a fairy I know. princess who's about to take the nectar from the gods. Joyce doesn't know anything. She doesn't know what's in it. She doesn't know who made it. We would love to invite you to test drink one. Inside we have soju, yakult, lemon juice, simple, raspberry puree, egg whites, and squid ink. This drink is paying homage to the one and only Blackpink. Oh, I love Blackpink. Jenny's my bias. Get a good sip in there. What? That's delicious. 
we can't have a reaction. Wow, so the squid ink kind of makes it a little bitter to the taste, mm. but the sweetness, this Very makes me feel like I'm fancy, like I could take somebody's money, <laughs> I could do high crime. Ooh. It's giving black pink energy. It is, right? A strong, feminine, cute, hot. The egg white really? kind of makes it foamy. Uh -huh. So it's like I'm up to something, but it's none of your business. <laughs> so now we'd like to invite you to try drink two. We have ginger beer, vodka, butterflied, pea flower, tea ice, lime juice, and an edible butterfly. And this is paying homage to the iconic BTS. <laughs> She's crying. I love you, BTS. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing? Yeah. Wow. Perfect. What does it taste like? Everything. Oh! Love, loss, life. It reminds me of every BTS album. I feel like I should drink both again. Blackpink, strong, beautiful, iconic, thick, flowers, femininity. Oh, damn. I don't even know to curve. It's hard because this one. I want to go out with the girls. I want to shake my bum bum. I want to listen to Blackpink. I want to like do 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 do. But this one, it's like I want to write poetry by the water. You know, I want to go to the museum with RM and ask him what his favorite color is. I'm a little scared. But in every lifetime, in every cinematic movie, I will always pick. Wow, I'm shocked. This drink is sensational. It tastes good. It feels good. But this drink took me somewhere. Okay. I saw me and RM, my <laughs> husband. He would drink this because he don't like sweet drinks. Would you like to know who made? Yes. Her... You want to guess? Um, I. Can't <laughs> go wrong. My guess is gonna be right though. Yeah, yeah. You made this one because I saw your face and you made that one. No. Oh, other oh, way. Oh, no. No. <laughs> what? Did you see that made you think the other way around? Because I was talking about it, he was like, <laughs> we're, we're breaking you out. Steven. I am very proud of Steven. Steven's gone such a long way in yes. his bartending journey. I want to try this. Yeah, yeah. You should. You're right, there was a fantasy at the museum mm -hmm. with our end. I, <laughs> yes. I can't disagree. I just see him saying, Joyce, I love you. I see him on one knee. Oh. Jesus, brother. Mm -hmm. Well, Joyce, thank you so much for coming in. You guys did great. Steven, you did better. So. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Okay. And I'm keeping the glasses, too. That's right. I know, they really are fancy. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, I never would have thought in a million years that I would win this thing. I feel so honored. Yay. Thanks for the competition, Ricky. You I am very happy that you won this and that you have the confidence to go out in the world and make a drink. I beat him fair and square. But thank you to Magic Bullet for making this video possible. Yay, congrats guys. Good job.